Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. For some, the fight against the opioid crisis is a very personal one. Such is the case for three fathers from Ocean and Monmouth County who lost their sons to opioid addiction. Kimberly Kravitz tells us about the organization they founded, Hope Sheds Light. As we all know, the heroin epidemic has been sweeping the nation and New Jersey has been hit particularly hard. We had the good fortune of meeting some people who have been personally affected, including those who had lost their loved ones to addiction. And they tell me that the only thing keeping them going is their hope. Hope Sheds Light is a family-focused nonprofit. Our mission is to raise awareness and to educate individuals, families, and the whole community about the impact of addiction by having the courage to share our personal experiences. Steve Willis is one of the co-founders of Hope Sheds Light. The organization was born out of tragedy. Three fathers who all lost their sons to the battle of addiction have since dedicated their lives to their son's legacy. I didn't understand what I was looking at early on in my journey. I thought he was just a 13-year-old defiant guy. But my son was an addict through and through. Like so many family members, Steve was forced to press charges against his son in order to get him the help he really needed. When nothing I did as a dad worked after a while, and I tried for months and months, I ended up pressing charges against him. And perhaps I figured if they understood what we were going through together as a family, they, would, they, they could provide a structure. And that's really what happened. But when the judge told him to do something, to go to treatment, um, he had to, or else he was going to be in jail. Volunteer coordinator Heather Price is an addict in recovery. She explains that it is a lifelong battle. About 10 years ago is when I began an act of addiction. I went through um, a pretty terrible divorce. Um, I had two small children at the time, five and three, and it was very painful for me. It was due to the fact that I lost my daughter to the state of New Jersey. Hope Sheds Light offers resources for both individuals battling the disease and also for the families. Support groups are held at their Toms River office on Tuesday evenings. For an agency or in, in a community where so many family members come out, this disease has um, a lot of stigma associated with it. People stay behind closed doors, they don't talk about it, they're up late at night on the internet. You know, 40, 50, 60 families will come out on a Tuesday night. The organization is best known for their annual Celebration of Hope Walk held on Labor Day weekend. The event attracts thousands of people each year. They all gather on the boardwalk and it's just like the sea of yellow t-shirts. We can celebrate recovery. The recovery is real and possible and happens and we can be happy. Each year, the families and loved ones have an opportunity to write out a personal message for their tree of hope. This is a very unique piece uh, to our walk. We have a table uh, set up with the little uh, butterflies that are adhesive and people write messages. When people are allowed to openly mourn, celebrate, talk about, memorialize somebody with, uh, who's passed or who's really out there struggling and you don't know where they are and if they're okay, when we're allowed to, without shame, you know, celebrate that or acknowledge that, or it, um, it's very healing. Anyone affected by addiction and substance abuse is encouraged to come out to shed some light in a dark place. And just knowing your personal experience and the fact that your, your whole duty here is to help others and their yes. families, what does that mean to you? I can't even express that in words. I got my daughter back and um, I got into a relationship with a gentleman who is also in recovery. All of our beautiful boys died because they tried to recover by themselves. They were saying, I got this, I can do this, and that doesn't work. So if you were interested in sharing your story or getting involved, you can join the fight in saving lives. The organization is holding their sixth annual Celebration of Hope Walk on September 7th in Seaside Heights. For more information, you can log on to hopeshedslight.org. In Tom's River, I'm Kimberly Kravitz, reporting for Jersey Matters.